welcome back now that we have mastered the art of dart manipulation and we're getting used to designing with darts we're going to we're going to talk about the um asymmetric darts right or designing with asymmetric darts when you're doing when they say asymmetric meaning that your design lines cross the center front or the center back or the center of your pattern meaning that you cannot cut your fabric or you cannot cut your pattern on fabric on fold it has to be like the whole pattern so we have to use the whole pattern to design it um and to do that we need to try and get the data out of the way a bit so um to do that you can transfer your dart either to the shoulder line or to your mid arm hole here i have transferred my darts to my mid arm hole both your darts don't have to be in the same place depending on the design that you want to do and you know that designing with darts is basically manipulating your darts moving your darts from one place to another which will come really easily for you right now so what i'm going to do is to just give a simple example on on um asymmetric darts going to draw a line from my one side you can design it anyhow this is just an example of it we can move it here yeah so as usual what we do is to slash and transfer slash it is just that easy close out your dots Slash to the boss point. This is the boss point. This is the boss point. And then you transfer. I'm sure now it's all getting really, really easy. You're finding some clarity in the whole design process. In basic design, this is all there is. Wait. Now you design. This is my pattern. Now you decide how you want to treat the excess that we've just created. Your transfer darts. So if I say I want to do um, dart talks, then I'll show you how to um, fill in the space. Because you remember that I said that dart talks are partially held darts. And if you are going to hold your darts partially, meaning that you have to have one piece filled up, then the other ones you can just sew like normal seams. I'm just going to fill up the space.
so you see now we're done with our asymmetric pattern and I've decided that I want to do dark stocks so I have this place that will just be folded in and this places that will be sewn up um, we're going to try another one another asymmetric pattern right away you will, we all know how to how this is folded this part is sewn all the way to this point and this part is left is left on sewn so that's why these places have seams and these places have still have the fullness so that you don't have any opening you can't cut this out if not you're going to have an opening when you're done with your pattern that's if you choose to do dot dart tucks but if you just want to take it in as a dart you can sew it sew everything from that point to the end don't forget to reduce the length of your dart by 1 inch 2 to 2.5 centimeters so let's try another design metric we're still doing asymmetric darts but let's do it let's let's make it look curve darts in different directions those ones too are really beautiful so i'm going to curve from this point i can't you can take it anywhere it doesn't have to be like mine this is just to show you what is possible everything is possible just think that manipulation And then we'll do the usual slash and transfer. There are always so many beautiful ways of, of designing with that. There are no limitations, none at all, none whatsoever. I forgot to mark my green line. Then we'll do the usual. We're going to fill up the space. First of all, you decide on what you want to do and then fill up as required. In this case, I think I just want to hold them as darts. If I want to hold them as that, and I can decide that I'll put like some um, ruffles in in between the dark seams. I put some ruffles in between 
the dark seams and see what it looks like. You can decide to design that way. You can decide that you want to pipe it. You can decide you want to do anything, 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 everything, everything is possible. It's just knowing how to do it. And there is our another asymmetric pattern. There. So the last um, thing we're going to do right now with designing with darts is um, what is called the interlocking darts, right? Interlocking darts are the kind of darts that they use in the origami um, bamboo, right? So I'll just show you how to do the interlocking darts. And then we'll move on to the last thing on the bodies, which is the princess seam. So in the interlocking darts, we interlock our darts, our dot, our darts to intersecting darts. Sorry. The dark, our darts will intersect, meaning that, meaning that they will meet at a point. Well, somewhere in the middle, they will cross. They're supposed to cross over. So I'll just draw a line, like we'll normally do when we're creating the bamboo. And then from the other place, I'm going to draw, and from the other boss point, boss point, I'm going to draw another line, which I've done. And quite easy. On this line, you open up, you slash and transfer. Everything is always slash and transfer. It's a treatment of darts that might be different, but the technique is the same. So I'm marking the point where they intersect. And what I do is to close this. up to
or I can decide to fill this up immediately. But I'll open this up to and transfer. You can see that I marked the intersecting point here. And I transfer. next thing to do right now is to fill up the space so you see that the principle is the same You can decide that you want to gather this point. You can decide that you want to take it as a dart. You can decide that you want to pleat it. Whatever you want to do. You can do one dart, one pleat. It's entirely up to you and up to your design. What you do with the fullness that you have created. Connect these two points with a line. Connect these two points. to dots and then add seam allowances to the rest although there are other ways that you can do it you will learn that when you take the um, origami course And there is my intersecting pattern. 
intersecting that um, that pattern. Um, so we are done with our basic designing with that. The next thing I'm going to show you in the next video is um, how to cut do your princess seam, how to cut your princess seam.